Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar Zhang and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I do videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Saturday. I do a whole variety of videos. I mainly focus around fashion, so things like clothing, shoes, and accessories. I love handbags. I have a major, major obsession with handbags. So there will definitely be a major focus on that. Um, well, I should actually say there will be a major focus because obviously there's not many videos that I've uploaded so far, but there's definitely more to come. Now, I hope to be able to do this for a long, long, long time. Um, so I would really appreciate your support in doing that. And it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button. I also have Instagram and a lot of the stuff that I reveal here, a lot of the stuff that I review here as well, because that's what I'll be doing. S videos will be about reviews of the products that I have so that I can let you guys know whether or not it's worth buying, whether or not it's worth investing the money, because a lot of luxury products are obviously very, very expensive. So all of the products um, and all of the items that I show here, I actually put it up on my Instagram and I style it there. I do photos with the help of my partner. Um, he's actually my photographer and he does an amazing job. Um, so I style everything on my Instagram. So if you hop over there and give me a follow there, that would also be absolutely amazing. And also it'll show you a little bit more about me as well. I will do some vlogs. Um, I hope to at least because I find um, vlogs a really fun thing to do. And I think at the end of the day, people who do YouTube, people who do, do anything really, they should find it fun because otherwise you do it, you burn out and it's just really not a great experience. So I definitely find it fun. Oh, I think it'll be fun. So I really want to do a vlog. I haven't got anything interesting happening in my life right now. So there's nothing really for me to vlog, but when something does come up, I will definitely do that. Now, if you do follow me on Instagram or if you go on there, you'll actually see I have a lot of highlights um, in my Instagram. And that's because last year I started working on my Instagram and I didn't do YouTube back then. So I have a lot of stuff on there that is really interesting to see. Um, it's kind of like vlog style kind of things um, but in Instagram story form. So go on there and you'll see a little bit more about me and um, you'll see some of the stuff that I have and how I style it. So you'll get to know me a little bit more. I wanted to just sit down and um, put it out in the universe, share it with you guys, my wish list for 2019. I am actually kind of excited about this because I've never really set a wish list down. I've never really put goals about what I want to buy, what I want to get, um, or what I want to achieve for that matter. Um, I definitely need to start doing that because I think it is a really good strategy for people to actually succeed at doing that stuff, which is to set your mind to a particular goal. So I wanted to put it out there just let it out into the universe to say this is what I want to aim for in 2019 and by the end of this year I want to come back to this video and say to myself I actually achieved what I set out to do. There are five things that I want to share with you guys and I'm not going to ramble on too much longer so let's get started. The first thing is a Chanel Jumbo classic flap. I know it is like I <laughs> It is the holy grail bag for so many people, for so, so many people. The Chanel Jumbo for me is, even though it's not my holy grail bag, it is still an amazing bag, which is why it's the holy grail bag for so many people. It's an absolute fantastic bag from what I've heard and from what I know. I haven't purchased one yet because I haven't found the particular style that I like. I want to stay away from the classic diamond quilt and I want to stay away from black. So I want to get a seasonal one, like a chevron, um, you know, a particular vibrant colour of something. I don't know. I haven't really found a specific design that has really struck a chord in my heart and kind of makes me sing. So I don't want to drop, you know, $8,000, $7,000 on a bag unless it's really going to make my heart sing. 
So that's item number one, the Chanel Jumbo. Number two is another classic. It's a Lady Dior from Christian Dior. I have wanted one for a long time as well. Um, exactly like the Chanel Jumbo, it is like it is the tip of the pyramid. It's the most classic bag in the Dior brand, in the House of Dior. It's an amazing bag. It's carried by Princess Diana, I'm pretty sure. I think, yeah, it was. It was carried by Princess Diana. It's an amazing, amazing bag, and I love it. It is so feminine, it's so classy, and I I can't rave enough about that bag. And the new style as well, and the smaller versions with the flap rather than the zip on the top, has literally boosted it to the next level. They've increased the functionality of the bag and that simply amazes me. I love Dior as a brand, but this particular bag is definitely one that I am aiming to get. Just like the Chanel Jumbo, I haven't really figured out what kind of design I want. I want a kind, I want a different style. I want something that's very unique. Something that represents me, represents my personality. Oh, I just knocked into that. I'm just gonna like move this a little bit over here. Um, and actually while I'm on this, this is a glass house candle, the um, caramel and vanilla, and it is amazing. I got this as a uh, Christmas gift. No, I got this, actually yes, I got this as a Christmas gift in 2017 and I haven't used it at all because I was just too afraid um, to break it out. It's, but then I thought, you know what, it's 2019, it's a new year, I've had it sitting in my closet for like more than a year so let's just break it out. So I've been using it for the last few weeks and it's absolutely amazing. This, the fragrance is so nice, I love it, I really do. I think it's an amazing handle and I recommend anyone to get it. If you're one of if you're one of those people like me who think that candles are kind of literally burning cash. I mean, you're spending like a hundred dollars on a candle and you're just burning it. So it's very similar to just putting a hundred dollars uh burning a hundred dollar note. And I'm like that. Uh I think exactly that. But there are some candles that I think are definitely worth it. Jo Malone is an amazing brand. I love Jo Malone. I got a Jo Malone candle for Christmas. Um, and the glass house candle, I think, is also worth burning as well because it's not excessively expensive, but um, it does, it's kind of very good value for money. It's very good bang for buck. So I definitely recommend getting glass house candles. They're on the more affordable side. So, it, and the fragrances are amazing and they last a while as well. The wax is good, they're just very good quality. Sorry, that was like a really huge tangent there, but anyway, back to my wish list. So my, yeah, so was I, oh, the Lady Dior. So the Lady Dior is definitely um, on my wish list as the second item. I've wanted one for a long time. I'm just trying to find one, um, a seasonal one that really uh, strikes a chord in my heart. The third item on my wish list is it's a it's a generic category. It's actually a leather coat. I have been wanting a leather coat for so so long. Since I was like 14, so 10 years, um I've been wanting a leather coat. And I've never gotten one because I don't want to get one that is on the cheaper side because I don't want to compromise quality. I think in other coats, other clothing, fine. I am totally for high street. I mean, you saw in one of my, in many of my videos and many of my photos as well on Instagram, I wear high street. Zara, um, H&M, Uniqlo even, you know, like I have high street clothes. So I'm not just about luxury fashion. I'm not just about, you know, Gucci, Dior and the, and the luxury designers. I'm, you know, I do high street as well, but I don't want to compromise on quality for leather, for a leather jacket, because I think a leather jacket is a lifetime purchase because leather 
is just it's animal skin and so as the years go by it ages and you want your leather just like handbags you want your leather coat to go with you through life as you wear it as you crease it as you move about in it it ages with you so i want to invest in a really really good leather coat and i'm not saying that high street doesn't do that i'm not saying that you can't find a good leather coat in high street you definitely can all i'm saying is i haven't found one i'm not limiting my search to just designer brands no i am including high street brands like sahara i keep i'm on a constant lookout for good leather coats i see ones in zara for about maybe like two three hundred dollars and i love them and then i go away and i look at reviews of them and see how they age see how they wear are they comfortable and they don't really pass that test they don't really review well so if you guys have any suggestions if you guys have come across really good leather coats if you own one high street or designer let me know i'm really really interested because i i've wanted one for so many years but i've never put the money down i don't want to spend 60 dollars on a leather coat to then replace it a year later and do it again and again i i just to me a leather coat is a holy grail item it's one of those things that i want to just buy one time and i want it to be the one <laughs> i want it to be the one um yeah so so that's number three item number four is a fur coat so just like a leather coat i'm and i don't sorry i should correct myself a faux fur coat i'm not into real fur and i think that a lot of people criticize me and other um uh, I guess other people who say oh you know I don't do real fur um, but then you know we get criticized because we wear leather handbags I want to get the point across that fur real fur is a different thing to leather because real fur animals are farmed specifically for real fur they get slaughtered specifically for real fur leather however is a byproduct of food they and I'm not saying that it's right I'm not saying I'm just saying that they are you know it's a lesser of two evils so yes I wear leather handbags but I'm against real fur okay um, crucify me if you want um, you know hate me if you want but that's what I feel I feel that leather is a lesser of two evils and so that's where I draw the line I, I, I don't want to step that line and go into real fur and leather is is slightly different because they're a byproduct of food the the animals cows um, you know sheep they get slaughtered for food and the skin is there I mean the animals dead anyway and I'm not saying it's right I'm I'm not saying it's correct I'm just saying it's the lesser of two evils you know everyone has to draw a line somewhere and, and that's where I draw my line and I don't want to cross that line so my wish list is a faux fur coat and one of the reasons well the main reason why um, I haven't invested in a fur coat yet is because brands and designers not just designers but high street as well all brands they haven't really embraced the idea of faux fur yet there are so many designers out there that have only just started in 2018 to embrace faux fur and so that's why i haven't invested because i i need a faux fur coat and i need a good one i need a good quality one i, I need one that will last a long time and so I've just been waiting and waiting for designers to come out with good ones and, and ones that I really like, one that really catches my eye, one that is like love at first sight. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I haven't invested in one. And I really hope that 2019 will be the year that I find one. 
so I'm on the search and if you guys have any suggestions as well please let me know if you manage to actually find one or if you have one yourself if you know of one or if you know of any good reviews as well um, of, a, of a good fur coat definitely let me know and item number five is a little bit embarrassing because it's kind of it's a handbag another handbag and it's one of those bags that everyone's kind of like you're insane for wanting it you're even more insane for actually dumping money and buying it the bag that i am talking about is the petite mall from louis vuitton <laughs> i love that bag and i haven't actually bitten the bullet and purchased one i still can't get over the price of the bag for how small it is it's ridiculous how much it fits or how sorry i should say how little it fits it's ridiculous and i know it's kind of silly because if you look at all brands the more i wait the more expensive it's going to get i know that it is a very very silly thing to do to not buy it because it's too expensive because the more you wait, the more expensive it's going to get. But I just can't stomach it. And I am hoping that there will be some lucky strike that I hit in 2019 that makes it possible to reward myself with the petite mile. So this kind of item or this kind of wish for this item is one of those things where it really is a wish. It's one of those things that I hope will happen, but I don't actually know. <laughs> I really just hope that it's, um, that something will happen. I'll strike the lottery or something and then I'll be able to buy it without feeling too much remorse. Now, I love that bag because I think it is a piece of art. It's seriously stunning. It has history, so much history behind it. And I guess that is what you're buying. You are definitely buying the craftsmanship, the artistry behind it, and the history behind it as well. And of course, you're buying the brand name too. But along with the brand name comes the history and comes the craftsmanship. There are people who have... Um, in, who were in the same who were in the same situation as me, and they've bitten the bullet and purchased it and don't regret it. So I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in twenty nineteen. Let me know if you think it's worth it. I mean, I remember that I watched Lydia Millen with her petite mal, and she doesn't regret it at all. And I made her sick to her stomach. It made me sick to my stomach, you know, seeing people pay that much money for a bag. And she doesn't regret it. She loves it. And I really, really want or hope that that can happen for me in 2019. It is such a small bag. I just think it is so cute. It is so beautiful. And I would love to use it as a clutch for an evening or even just a casual lunch bag. You just go out to lunch with the girls and all you need is your lip gloss, your phone and your card holder and some cash. Honestly, it is so beautiful and I really, really want one, but a girl can dream. <laughs> okay, so that's my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments um any ideas for videos as well please let me know in the comments below because it would be amazing for me um to be able to hear your guys's thoughts and be able to make videos based on what you guys want to know and what you guys want to hear about as well so and also don't forget to check me out on instagram because a lot of the stuff that i reveal and I, a lot of the stuff that i talk about here will be styled and shot uh, photoshot on my Instagram. So definitely hop over there. Thank you again so much and I will see you in the next one.